Let me check those vocal fluids. It'll have to do it. It'll have to do it. That's right. Many people come up to me on occasion and say, Nick, how did you win World War III? And I tell them, it was simply a process of patience, meditation, understanding, wisdom, focus, and remembering the wisdom of ancient General Sun Tzu from the Art of War, who said, and I quote, to win without fighting is best. That is how I won World War III. I have won. I haven't done anything. I haven't done any fighting, I've just sat here playing on my computer, it's been amazing fun. And I did it! I've overcome! Got to the top of the zenith through the social pool! Not too easily, but you know, had those moments, had those rare days where I think I wish I wasn't here anymore. I wish I was dead since you don't know, pushing up daisies, but I'm still here! And I'm still alive, and I'm still feeling pretty good on this beautiful holy summer's day. So we're going to run through a few self-defense techniques in the field of combat today. Should you become attacked by an aggressive, psychotic, evil assailant wielding either machine guns or knives, they are the two best techniques to use when done with precision of the placement of the hands and legs should you require them. Some people even employ the noggin, but they're a little aggressive and basic, I find, and the brain is best to be protected. So we move on swiftly through the ultra sphere, never fearing, never hating, never lying, always believing, always knowing, the son, the true God, who came to save us sinners. And that is the word. Without the word, we might as well all be dead and down to hell already, but we're not, and that's because we're Christians, and we are ready, we are ready to die in our numbers against the armies of Satan, for we believe in the one true God, our Saviour under mankind, and his noble Son, Jesus our Lord in heaven, with all the angels, and we are not afraid. There's nothing to fucking fear, apart from the prices of cigarettes at John Menzies, right? Uh, anywhere, in fact. The prices of fags are extortionate. So if we've got any underground rebel chums who are prepared to smuggle more berets in, get them at a bit of a cheaper rate. That's even a double win. You know, don't say all smuggling is evil, because without smugglers, we wouldn't have the luxury of our benefits in this holy, holistic, spiritual kingdom due to historical flow, okay? Look at America, the land of the free. They didn't even used to allow drinking. It doesn't bear thinking about. Only recently they've come around to legalizing weed, right? Which this could be. Um, in the pursuit of happiness. Well, if I wrote the Constitution and I wrote that line, blah, 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 in the pursuit of happiness, all very well and good, right? So that's totally allocated and allowed. And I had a smoke, I'd be like, well, this has got to be legalised 101. I mean, this is the first port of call for establishing the very ideology that makes them say who they are. Guns, not very English, mate. Put them away. This isn't a gun, this is a photon cannon, okay? It's used for precise deployment from a field that I'll show you. See? see the light directed at a very precise form. So we can go in as ultra renegade SAS warriors, we can go into any encampment with these photon mine transistors, scope out from a distance someone at night, give them a photon blast and they'll be like, what the fuck was that? That is enough to change a scenario using subliminal theorem intercourse. Okay. It's a very powerful technique and it's another reason I won World War III. Like, I've been using this technique for years, it's extremely powerful, but it takes great foresight and understanding of other people's ignorance and ill knowledge. When you have that, my friend, you have as I have, the victory of humanity, victory of the people's group.
Nicholas Clark. The other way, of course, I won World War III was developing these little chaps. Each one is vital in the process, and I have many more, many more. This, this is the Art Kung Du, Batman, Wolf, Intergalactic Cuboid, Half the Little Door, a Quasi Picasso, a form of sailing spaceship, a bit of a dick, cosmic all seeing satellite. You know, we've got it all going on here. And it all stems from these champs. And these, this, this is from the 80s. This piece of paper, I made this when I was a little boy. Do you see that? And it says, th this was the name of the team of uh, my Lobots. Fluff, Fump, Humpfee, Scump, Gumpy, Smudge, Grumpfee and Splitch. The names have improved since then, and we've become far more refined and eloquent in our annotation of divinity. But bear you well with me. World War Three is won and complete and done and dusted before it's even happened. You just have to know the fates and stand by your crew. We got this. We did it all, thanks to you guys. Just holding it firm. That's what we want. That's all we ask of you. Be good. E.T. was right. Quality. And look how lovely they now look, eh? Fan fucking tennis. But I couldn't have won it. I couldn't have won World War Three without the help of the Shadow Ops. You know who you are. Yeah, this grace is nature. Having said all this, I couldn't have won World War Three without the help of the Shadow Ops. You know who you are. Without those knowing agents in society operating globally, also known as the Shadow Operatives, we would never have won the sustained peace for a myriad. They have worked diligently, profoundly, well, intelligently, superbly, loyally, and with extreme dedicated focus for the betterment of humanity. And that is not to be slurred at or rubbished. Obviously we can't give you their names to protect you there, to protect them in their manifold and secret areas operating in and out of society at all levels. But you know exactly who you are and what you're doing and why you're doing it for me. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for doing that. There is no evil in my crown. There is only the antithesis. So we welcome this. And we say, jolly good. Jolly good to one and all. And well done and completely splendid. Aren't the Ukrainians brave heroes? This is amazing fun. We must do it more often. Just a joke. You know, war is all fun and good until you're picking up the skull of a little baby. And then you don't want that shit, so fuck you. You keep the peace. You take the stuff. I'm sure you the stuff. Another weapon in how I won World War Three. See that? See that? This, my friends, is the Staff of Ra. And it has beaten one Apache so far. Such is its power when wielded by someone who knows what they're doing. Yes, the story of the Apache helicopter is true. And this is what I was faced with. And this is what I was armed with. And this is what I was armed with in the face of a gun ship. But they held their fire, they did not blast their rockets. And they knew, ultimately, I stand for nothing but peace, love, justice, mercy, grace, 
fulfillment, wisdom, creativity, comedy, music, good stuff. And a few drinks and smokings, if they really are your tipple. Because there ain't nothing wrong with that shit in my mind. The man has every right to enjoy his life under the god given mercy. As long as it does not sin. And we, as far as we know, do not believe enjoying yourself is a sin in the spiritual domain. I think God wants us to delight in our capabilities. So well done. Crack on. Carry on. You're doing an excellent job. And may the force be with you. First lullaby, don't whisper. The quiet God is the one who knows all things. The quiet God is the one who knows all things. The quiet God is the one who knows all things. He does not seek violence. He does not seek war. He does not seek horror. He does not seek a bore. He wants all things under control eternally, spiritually, with the winds and the angels of divinity. He is the one. He is the eternity. He is the eternity.